Now when I was out last time on the trip to the forest and I just shot a single frame of black and white with the 4x5, I did notice a couple of scenes as I wandered around. And I looked at them on the B-roll later and I thought there was plenty of potential there. Now although I was carrying some colour film last time with me, I, I don't know, I just was really focused on black and white. Well this time I'm coming back for the colour shot. And I decided to exclude a lot of the sky. So I brought my 6x12 back. Now this not only allows me to use roll film, which is cheaper and easier, but it means also I can keep the top and bottom out of the frame because I don't really need those. Now my 6x12 back is made by Horseman, a beautiful piece of equipment. Similar to medium format, you have a dark slide which you pull when you want to expose the film. And inside you have a film insert, a holder, where I'm going to load my film into. Now this takes six shots on a roll of 120 film, so very economical compared to sheet film. And also I do like that two to one crop. It means I can actually crop it slightly further if I want and get a true panoramic image. Now unusually for me, the film I've gone for today is a slide film, it is Fuji Provia 100F because I'm working in a very, very low light situation, it's only just after sunrise but it's dull this morning which is what I really wanted because it keeps the contrast range down. Now this is going to make the absolute most of the greens and the vegetation here. Uh, yeah, XL will be good too but really I'm wanting that punch of slide film today. Now I've decided to go with my widest lens, which is only about 28mm equivalent. It's a 90mm Fujinon. And the problem is, trying to focus it at this time of the morning is nigh on impossible. It's an f8 lens, and it is a wide angle, so you don't get that lovely snap in and out of focus. And it is so dim under the dark cloth, I can't show you what it looks like, I'm struggling to see anything. I have got the composition roughly right, because as usual, I use my trusty little viewfinder app, and I've got that in panoramic mode. But I am going to wait for about 15 minutes till a little bit more light comes up and I can actually see clearly some of those branches to focus on. Now, on my camera when I'm shooting 6x12, I actually make my own little cardboard mask which I've applied here to the plastic Fresnel, if you can just see. Now this masks off the top and bottom of the frame, so it really just shows me what I'm going to see because I really do struggle if my camera doesn't clearly indicate exactly what I've got in the frame. I find it hard to visualise just with lines drawn on the ground glass. Now having decided that I'm going to make this my shot of the day, I am actually going to shoot the whole roll just on this one scene and try and get it right. I have set myself up now with the 6x12 back, the Fuji Provia 100, and I've got my spot meter to take some readings around the scene. Now if you look at the scene behind me, you can see that there's a little bit of brightness towards the sort of top where I am cropping out largely, but it is brighter at the top of the tree canopy compared to down into the, uh, the undergrowth of foliage down here. But there's not actually that much of a range. You're probably talking hmm, four stops maximum. So I'm going to put my exposure right in the middle there. Now, with light levels are as they are at the moment, I'm looking at around about four seconds at f22. But I put a polarizer on to saturate the, the woodland. It works wonderful in conditions like this with colour. And that's taking me up to 16 seconds. Now, I am affording myself the luxury of bracketing because I have six shots on the roll. Now I'm hoping to get this right on the one frame, but just in case I have actually bracketed two thirds of a stop each side and they will give me the option if one is a bit too light or a bit too dark just to pick the best one. Now for the second sequence of three images, the same shot, but I have recomposed. Now the reason is it's quite a bit brighter now, surprisingly. 
and I can see some more of the detail on the ground glass. So I've shifted my position ever so slightly. Um, I've probably excluded something I think might have intruded on the first frame. And I've got a bit more light in there, a little bit easier to focus. So uh, yeah, it's a good option to be able to reset everything because if you make one mistake with large format, that can be the whole roll ruined. Right, all done. I think I'm all done anyway. Make sure I've not left anything lying around on the floor. Anyway, I'm gonna send this roll off. I don't really develop much slide film. I use it so rarely. It's not worth having the chemicals in. And I think I'll treat myself to a lab scan for a change. I normally do all my own scanning, but uh, quite nice to actually get these delivered a bit quicker over the internet. So uh, yeah, let's get back. Let's see if any of them turned out. So let's have a look at the images, the two shots I took, and uh, see what worked and what didn't. Now this is the, the first image, unprocessed, as it came back from the, the scanner. Um, just one thing to mention, I couldn't actually get a lab scan done because they don't do 6x12, so I did have to wait in the end to get it back and do it on my own Epson. Now, it looks okay at first glance, but I'll show you straight away some of the problems if I just zoom in here. Now, straight away you can see, I haven't got it all in focus. It's well off on the right hand side. It's not brilliant in the center. It's not too bad over on the left. So I think I actually had the camera uh, misadjusted. I didn't have it set up properly at all. I couldn't really see anything through the viewfinder. I'll be honest, I was really struggling. And with it being a wide angle, I didn't really get that snap in and out of focus. It was very, very difficult to see what was sharp and what wasn't. But I do like the colours though, so you know it's not all bad in this one. Now this is the second shot when I had readjusted the camera. I had set the the standards back up vertical. I had readjusted the focus. I had checked very carefully around the scene. And I think as you can see actually it was a bit brighter as well. Now that made focusing a lot easier. So if we zoom into the scene now you can see that there is a lot more fine detail in there. Now I have processed this image. This isn't raw straight out of camera it has been processed but not massively it was a lot lighter anyway this particular slide and i'm very pleased with it i like the level of detail in there i love the colors i absolutely love the colors i'm getting in there just notice that though there you see this this white tree branch trunk coming through here that has clipped out now that was very bright in the scene it was catching the sunlight but as it formed only a small compositional element, I don't mind. It doesn't ruin it. it if it was much more than that, if it was uh, right in the centre, perhaps it would annoy me. But I can live with it. Um, I love the, the, the framing, though, of the, the trees which arc in over these, these main trunks here. I think it's got a nice balance to it. And this, this tree in the centre is the star. This is the one which is, for me, what the shot's all about. Uh, it focuses the eye in and I think the 6x12 frame really works well with this image. So yes, very pleased with the Provia. Um, the first shot, as you can see, yeah, it just doesn't stand up at all in comparison, sadly. But that's the nice thing about uh, taking your time on one shot and making sure you get it right. It was well worth the effort to set up again, wait half an hour and uh, yeah, I'm pleased. I think in the end I did actually uh, actually nail it. So. Yes, thank you very much for uh, coming along and I will see you again soon.